like a difference in the uh, carrots. Uh, and wherever you go in the world, they look a little different. Different shape. There are carrots of all colors. I mean, if you'd like to know, there are purple and yellow and as well as the orange and so on. And the ones that I did in, uh, I did a piece with some in Korea and they were all short, fat, little stubby looking, you know, carrots. So I, you know, did a certain kind. And some are long and skinny and some I do with the tails on them, you know. One of which I've used in performance, I just throw it across the stage, you know, between curtains and yell out, Haley's Comet. <laughs> so, that's a little carrot one-liner. What kind of carrots are these, Larry? Well, they're not as good, but... from uh, this is from Avalanche magazine which you know was a very important magazine from uh, oh, late 60s and the show this is mainly a Gordon Mata Clark show but um, the curator is including it's this, this is the, these were pieces, this is one of the first, I think it was the first group show at 112 Green Street, and so they've selected about um, six or seven artists besides uh, Gordon, and Gordon was a wonderful artist, and what you saw at the gallery was all that big wallpaper, a wallpaper piece of his he was doing. So here's my little tiny carrot piece, and it was, it was next to a piece by um, Gordon. Uh, Gordon and I got to be uh, good friends, which is not unusual for him. He's one of those people who had many good friends because he was a wonderful, uh, personable, open person. And uh, he planted a cherry tree down there and was growing things in agar. So we were the only two people like working with organic materials. 
And so she's putting my organic piece, that's why she wants this, to go along with Gordon's organic work. I have a color slide of it, but this is what it looks like in black and white, in theory. You know, it's basically all these carrots sewn together. It's maybe like, I don't know, 120 or something like that. So now I have to sort out all these carrots. I have to sort them out. I have ice packs. I have to keep them cool because when they're fresh, they look beautiful and funny. So I built a special platform out back because it happens to be like 31 degrees today, which is, you know, about right for keeping carrots. And my whole trick is to keep the carrots cold for the next 26 hours, right? So I have various systems. I have, in here I have um, all these ice packs I brought. So for my working situation, there's 12 of these and you can, you can help me figure it out a little bit. And these are, these are California carrots. You see how big they are? See, I love those ends, how big they are. It means it's gonna make it a little easier for me to get bulk in the piece. But then I sometimes need a little fill in to make it sort of smooth. It's sort of like being a brick layer, except I'm a carrot layer or a carrot sower. I may, I'm sure there have been primitives who sowed carrots, don't you think? But I like to think I am, I'm a primitive artist. And um, I think a lot of people actually agree with that. My piece is actually a performance piece and it actually led me to performance art because I finally realized that the carrot was a substitute for me, that the carrot was a substitute for the natural entropy of, uh, of an organism. In other words, I was identifying with a carrot and it turns out I, I made a search somewhere and the most common vegetable, according to people, when they like said, what's, you know, do you think is like the most common vegetable or something, turned out to be a carrot. So obviously the carrot has phallic implications, you know, so I mean, that's not to be dismissed. And I've played upon that in my work too. But so the carrot, the carrot pieces are really performance pieces. And what they do is they invite the audience, the discerning audience, the interested audience, or the audience that's available to see a work fresh and like realize that like, oh wow, what's gonna happen to this piece? I mean, it's not gonna stay like this. And so it's an inducement for them to come back and they, oh, it's a two week show, it's a one month show. I think I'll check back in in a few days and see what it looks like. And I have one that's a line across the wall. I mean, I have several, you know. And uh, they all decay and they go through the, uh, uh, sorry, they go through the horrific phase of like, you know, getting sort of brown and wrinkled and shit. And then they get kind of, you know, all bent and stuff. And then they finally dry out and are beautiful again. And the final result of this piece will look similar to this, except it will be in a bulk and it will show the string and so on. Now, this is a ball of string that I got at an army surplus store. And I said when I bought this ball of string, and this is what I used to sew the carrots together before. I said when I bought this ball of string, this ball of string is going to last me a lifetime. And I think now that I'm 60, you know, some odd years, it's going to last me and my clones and somebody else a lifetime. But this is it's going to be sewn together in that uh, same way. first piece was like 40 years ago so you know I I made two 
you know, one in 1969, one in 1970, and the 1971 was in the show that this show is about, 112 Green Street, and I have this huge ball of black string, and I thought, oh, this is so cool. I have the original string that I made the other one with, but the string has somehow aged even more than I have and kept uh, breaking. So I had to like evolve a whole new way of sewing carrots. Um, by the way, there is no manual on sewing carrots uh, that I know of. So whatever I did had to be, <laughs> you know, had to be made up on the spot and work. And so I, I developed a way of like sewing one or two and tying off and then sewing another couple of and tying off and so forth. So anyway, I, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, one thing though, uh, yeah. As far as bringing that into the gallery, yeah. I think it would be it would be good to just have some art handlers. Yeah. So sure. And yeah, we don't go, we don't need it. Need it. And just go with the piece. Yeah, I know. If you go like this. bless her, she picked the most difficult piece possible for me to have to do, and the most unsaleable piece.